This is Super Mega Baseball 4. We're here on Xbox Series X. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. So this is the fourth main entry in the now actually fairly long running baseball franchise. This is the first that is under the EA banner because EA did pick them up. So it does get a little bit of a more increased scope of style and play. You know, they took some time off to basically revamp and upgrade the series with this particular entry. So what are we getting here? It's a 4K resolution. Oh, 60 FPS. <laughs> There's spatial sound support. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. There's all the fun of baseball. You, you can play locally. Up to four players. There's online multiplayer up to four players. I, I kind of swing on all kinds of stuff, if you haven't noticed, but uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. I just really keep fouling that. I mean, they're not really giving me a shot that's... Oh, there we go. That's that's good. I, I think I'm just going to sit at first and just celebrate the one base I got going on here. But yeah, I play with like, you know, four players, online, offline. Uh, this game's really cool because it's something where it's like a customized experience, but they have added like a roster of something like 200 really large iconic players to the game. Fan favorite uh, former pros and whatnot. Okay, I wasn't even paying attention for that one, my bad. That's how fast paced this game is. But like I was saying, what's really, really quite cool about this one is the aspect of the random created teams that they have here. Now they're not random in the sense that it's just like randomly generated every time you go at it. But you know, they're created by the developer. You know, it's a roster of different teams. They've even added some, you know, uh, stadiums and stuff for this particular entry. I think it's like three or four or something, or six, sorry, all new stadiums. But what's cool about this one is because it's these customized leagues and whatnot, you get full customization in this game to create, oh, that was bad. Oh, that was really bad. Sorry about that. Whoa. You get to create your own players, your own teams, your own leagues. You can really personalize it and kind of like make it whatever you want. And to me, I always thought that was kind of interesting because a lot of, you know, the sports games, it's like, yes, there is. Oh, that was a bad throw, but I'm glad I actually got over there. All right. You know, you, you do get lots of customization and whatnot, but you're still kind of working off of like a preset you know, sort of branding and franchise. And I could potentially see with this being under EA that like somewhere down the line, I, I think this is probably gonna like mature a bit and merge in with like a proper kind of competitor. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, but you know, that's just kind of my prediction for this one. And yes, I have made the ego a little easier going so that hopefully I look really good in doing my video here, but obviously that has not been, uh, really help that much okay so this game also a, a trademark of the series is the ego meter so the ego meter is something that you can easily adjust on the fly and it will either make the game easier for you or more difficult for you and you can have it scale and you can adjust it further you can really have whatever kind of ego level you want that's gonna be a double out i deserve that so yeah, it's, it's kind of a neat aspect, because it's sort of an easy way to be like, okay, you know, what's the challenge like? Ugh, what's, what's, the, you know, what's the gameplay like in regards to difficulty and whatnot? So it's an easy way to kind of get a benchmark of that and see how you're doing and make it easier or harder based on that particular experience. So that's something that's been really quite a trademark of the series outside of its unique sort of visual aesthetic where it's like quite cartoony. But this one also did get quite a presentation overhaul. It's a lot sharper, it is a lot more matured in terms of style, but it's still got that like sort of look where you're kind of like, if you've played other Super Mega Baseball games, you know, you know what you're getting here. Like it looks and plays and feels like a Super Mega Baseball game, but it's just been sort of updated and enhanced in a number of good ways. It's still got that fun sort of responsive, you know, styling and fun to it, but it's just been, you know, Kind of amped up in some good ways so it's like regular baseball you set up the rounds or sorry the innings 
and you're like, how many do you want to play? You know, the, what's the stadium situation like? What teams are going on? You can do just quick ex exhibitions against others. You can do online. There's some like cooperative type stuff. There's seasonal mode modes. So it's like, you know, you get all of the stuff that you would kind of expect within a baseball game. But it's... Wow, I can't believe I didn't actually get that. Okay. But, you know, it's, it's within this package, and I think that works quite effectively well for what this is. So, it's got that signature arcade style, but with immersive in-depth gameplay and features, and elements like, you know, franchise, the pennant, race, and eye-popping visuals they've mentioned, crystal clear audio upgrades. Eh, it does sound better, I guess, to a degree. Hmm. And then, oh, there's also cross-play and everything like that. Sorry, it just keeps popping out these tutorials to me. Ah, that's not very good. So there's a lot of content, whether you're playing locally or online. So you get some good value out of this one. And like I said, I've, I've quite found this series to be interesting. Like, I've always... Ooh, that's not gonna be good. Yep, that was bad. I shouldn't have went for that. You know, I've, I've always thought that this is actually, like, a really good baseball franchise. And it is actually a good competitor to, like... MLB the show, but like if you are expecting like realistic baseball You know this is I, I think it plays along those lines But obviously you're not getting like the licensed teams and the licensed league and stuff at least not uh, Not yet. That's that's what I'm saying. I, I see this kind of being You know EA making that big move, and then EA maybe trying to get like a license attached to it as well, because I would imagine there's probably already some sort of exclusivity type thing or whatever, but, uh, you know, with the show and whatnot, but it would be interesting to have an EA competitor again, I think would be quite fascinating for sure. Because we actually, we had like, you know, back in the day there was all kinds of different sports games, and then it kind of just ended up with like one, you know, kind of major sports game per sport and that's all we've been stuck with for a long time so it was interesting to see the rise of i guess you would say almost these indie type sports games and then obviously you know ea jumps in there so it's not like indie anymore but you know good for the studio and stuff because they actually put together a really good comprehensive baseball game and uh you know, it's, it's been really cool to see it grow across, like, the different entries and just be like, wow, this is actually kind of impressive. I remember my buddy talking about, like, I think the first or the second one, he's like, this is a really good little competitor because, you know, wanted a baseball game, but on Xbox, you don't, you don't have the show, right? So that becomes a problem. Oh, wow, he just broke that bat to bits. That's hilarious. So, ooh, El Grande. That's a good achievement. For striking out the batters. That's gonna be out. Yeah, of course that's gonna be out. Because we're going into the extra innings. I set it up as like a three inning thing. And this just got intense. But yeah, I, I like what this has to offer. And it's just, it's neat to see entry after entry come. And that the series continues to like, hold steady. Have enough interest and support for them to continue it. And I am very intrigued to see where the future of this lands, too. Because I do think they could do really, really interesting things. Like, it's got such an incredible foundation to it with its customization and its, like... You know, style of play. That went right in there. That was... <sighs> a little disappointing. But I also love the... The environments just in regards to like I'm just trying to do like a really heavy kind of boo yeah because we got like this cool roller coaster and this like dragon thing going on and I'm just trying to get like a big one so we get something going on but it doesn't seem like we're gonna get anything like that it's it's gonna be just uh <sighs> that's the exact frustration I feel right now Smashing the bat like that. Yeah, my inability to score runs this game is just uh, traumatizing. 
Oh, and as always, a great amount of depth and detail in the crowd. When they got all these customized characters, you really do get such crazy variation in that. And they're all doing their own little thing, and they're all playing well. See, we, we literally lower the difficulty, so I look like I'm doing really good, and then it's like, still not slam dunking it. But I'm sure there's others out there that are like really professional at this game, and they're just like, you know, really intensive about that. And that's cool, you know, it, like it makes sense to me that like, oh, that was bad. Some people are going to be a lot crazy about this one in terms of their gameplay style. And I mean, you've had so many entries. It's just like amazing when something gets to its fourth entry. Like I, I, at a certain point, I would imagine. Wow, I can't believe that actually did. You missed? That's how we lose? <laughs> That's how we lose? Okay, let's go to the next match. I'd imagine we'll get to a point where it's just like. You know, you get like a yearly entry almost would be interesting. Although those, these don't come out every year, but you get what I mean, where it's like they just kind of label it as that game of that year. And I don't know how many they would do before that. Because once you get to like Super Mega Baseball 6 or something, it's like, okay, that's a lot. It's kind of funny. It's like, do I need to have played the other Super Mega Baseballs to understand? Kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, I really do like this one. And, you know, it all loads pretty quick, and it's got a lot to it. And as I said, I think it's just kind of a fun take on baseball when you're actually able to hit stuff and get those runs going. And then you add the great levels of personalization. You really do feel like you're impacting the league, making it your own. You know, I know a lot of people really love that aspect of the series is that they've been able to, like, you know be able to really adjust things and personalize the scope of it because it's like it, it might seem a little cartoonish wow am i really going to get double played again maybe i do need an easy even easier level of ego holy <laughs> you, you know like wow because you know it, it is silly in presentation perhaps you know i i actually think this is a lot more of a visually matured game than its predecessor quite honestly like it still has that fun cartoony style but they've definitely upgraded it I, I think it looks so much more detailed. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's it's kind of like, it, it may fool you, but the physics and the technology under the hood on this one, very, very good. You know, very well done. I, I think it captures the sport very well. And I actually kind of almost struggle to think of, like, too many, like, feature features they could add. Like, they've got the different game modes, they've got all the different difficulty scaling things, they've got all the different options for personalization that you could really want and it's just kind of a fun baseball experience where you're just kind of going out to the ball game trying your best to win while not losing because you're like come on my pitch game is so good but apparently my bat game is incredibly weak which i don't like oh well, this this person looks tough and you know they've got all these fun different like environments and stadiums and different teams you get to play as they do have a good time with it you know what i mean like they they seem to really have fun developing this world and that and i think it could become more detailed over time i think you know they could continue to add more features with later releases but i personally see that this is probably a good testing zone to see if they can eventually get that like mlb branding someday because that would be uh we need to see this with that kind of competition edge to it. Might have actually had a better chance during the, uh, you know, MLB looking for different you know, sporting opportunities era, right? Where they had, like, RBI, which is sadly gone. I know nobody seemed to care about that series, but I did enjoy reviewing it every year, and I did get a lot of benefits out of covering that series. I got a lot of views and stuff from it over the years, so I will... I will miss the RBI, full, RBI, RBI baseball franchise, I will for sure. I know that doesn't have any, like, sort of sway in this one, but I'm just kind of, like, really kind of thinking about, you know, where things are going to be headed with the series, because it's, like, you know, foundations and stuff are great, and obviously here under, you know, EA, they haven't really skipped a beat. It's still, like, a fun, fine-tuned machine that feels 
kind of strangely by itself too because usually you would think the EA identity would be like all over this one but uh, yeah no it's uh, still super mega baseball through and through that is for sure yeah not a worry at all so I don't have any really uh, any more details to provide uh, just to enjoy some non-commentary gameplay going over this just so you can see more of it action and hopefully I can pull off a win which embarrassingly I just don't think I'm good enough to do Number 18, Gene Tennis. Now batting the second baseman, number 28, Tom Hare. batting the first baseman number 37 Tony Perez <laughs> All right. now batting the designated hitter number 60 Dick Allen batting the right fielder number 44 Hank Aaron now batting the shortstop number three Alan Trammell Number 51, George Foster. Now batting, the center fielder, number six, Willie Wilson. batting the second baseman number 28 Tom Hare now batting the third baseman number four Carney Lansford Now batting, 
the first